other beak in the mangrove swamp can compare with that of the flamingos. Attracted by the microscopic crustaceans that proliferate in the brackish waters, thousands of them come to the mangrove swamps. Their strange beaks are equipped with sieves that filter the water and retain the tiny crustaceans, and their stilt-like legs and webbed feet mean they can walk easily across the viscous slime. Just a few decades ago, flamingos were very numerous in Cuba, but humans have destroyed the majority of their breeding colonies, and the last specimens today hide in the mangrove forests of the main island, where inaccessibility has become their greatest ally. At twilight, great flocks of birds disturb the reigning peace at the edge of the mangrove forests. The outer edge of this inhospitable ecosystem where the aquatic birds gather to eat is the best known and most tumultuous region of the mangrove forest. It is an open, exposed area where the birds can be easily seen and so at first it was believed that the majority of the wildlife was concentrated here. <laughs> 